Welcome again right now in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 5 through 9. Masters and slaves. Paul says, Servants, be obedient to those who, according to the flesh, are your masters, with fear and trembling in singleness of your heart, as to Christ, not in the way of service only when eyes are on you, as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord, and not to men knowing that whatever good thing each one does, he will receive the same good again from the Lord, whether he is bound or free. You masters, do the same things to them and give up threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. In this day and age, slavery is looked at as a very, very evil thing. But listen, God doesn't have anything evil to say about it. What he does have to say is that masters ought to treat their slaves well, okay? And slaves ought to serve their masters well. God says that all the way through the scriptures, throughout the ages. Are we better than God? Do you actually think that God didn't know that slavery was bad? No. According to the word of God, slavery in and of itself is not bad. It's just that masters ought to treat their slaves well, and slaves ought to serve their masters well. In fact, it even says in the scriptures that a lot of slaves didn't even want to leave their masters. They had it so good. But in countries today where slavery is illegal and you don't see any slaves anymore, how does this apply? Well, if you are an employer or an employee, you can look at it like this. You are a master or you are a slave. Until next time, seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.